The verdict is in on the Falcons and Eagles tampering investigation. Who's getting penalized and how hard? Aaron Rodgers is missing. Don't blame me. I told you to put a bell on him. Plus, Tom Brady was inducted into the Patriots Hall of Fame. We have the footage and we're legally bound to make fun of it. Welcome to Shut Up Football, I'm Jeff Stoltzfus, that's Kevin, and when it comes to the NFL, this is Barely News. The league investigation into the Falcons and Eagles for tampering this offseason has finally reached a conclusion. The Falcons have been found guilty, and as such, GM Terry Fontnot will be fined $50,000, the organization will be fined $250,000, and they'll lose a fifth round draft pick in next year's draft. Deal, said the Falcons. They tampered with Kirk Cousins, Darnell Mooney, and Charlie Werner, and all they lost was a fifth? Kirk Cousins should have to lose a toe. Or a kid. I'm not saying kill him, just send him to the Panthers to be developed. A couple hundred thousand dollars and a fifth round pick? These penalties send a clear message to teams around the league. We are not serious people. This is the worst theater I've seen since Vin Diesel and Hamlet. It's all about family. The smoking gun was Cousins' own mouth. In his introductory press conference, he admitted to speaking with Falcons personnel prior to the legal tampering period. The NFL is very clear about tampering rules. Don't get caught. Meanwhile, Philadelphia was cleared of any wrongdoing, which is a nice change. We don't need new reasons to riot. The investigation, which involved extensive scrutiny of phone records, text messages, and other forms of communication, was initiated following rumors that the Eagles might have improperly reached out to Saquon Barkley. However, after a meticulous review, the NFL concluded that the Eagles had not violated any league rules. Eagles fans breathed a huge sigh of relief, and then rioted anyway. Broncos head coach Sean Payton underwent cataract surgery this offseason. He admitted to calling a wrong play once last season because he misread the play sheet. Worse yet, it was a Cheesecake Factory menu. No word on which play it was, but I really hope it wasn't this one. Payton's vision is now 2020. Bad news if you're Zach Wilson. Where is Aaron Rodgers? He's not at Jets minicamp. His absence wasn't a surprise, but it's being called unexcused. So he is getting fined for it. What could be so important that it cost him over $100,000? The Jets aren't telling, but nobody in the organization seems concerned. Apparently the media is making a big deal out of nothing. I mean, it's not like he needs the reps. Last year he had at least four. Some think he's in Europe, others another ayahuasca retreat. If you want to catch Aaron Rodgers, you have to think like Aaron Rodgers. I also uh, found a, a, a way to, to see uh, the Zapruder film. Did you hear about the Epstein client list? Yeah, my dumps were super smooth. No, wait, no one should do that. Sorry, mistake. Just think if you were Aaron Rodgers, where would I go? I mean, obviously Florida, but where else? Is he doing his own research? Whether he's imprisoned in an elaborate mental labyrinth of his own design or shitting in the dark in a Peruvian darkness retreat, we wish him a speedy release. Congratulations to the Birmingham Stallions. They just won the championship for the inaugural season of the UFL. Wild Stallions! The Stallions won the two previous championships in the USFL, meaning this is actually a three-peat, which is how I like my peats. Holy crap, it was exhilarating. I didn't watch it either. I wanted to, but I got this hammock. Co-owner Danny Garcia was there to hand out the trophy. Give her the mic, Kurt. Let go. You're being weird. Champagne was flying. Initiate golden protocol. Protect Tom Brady's hair. According to TMZ, which is where I go for all my hard hitting news, Bill Belichick is dating again. Normally, I'm not interested in who people choose to date, as long as they're not relatives. But this one caught my attention. Belichick, who's 72 years old, is reportedly dating 24-year-old Jordan Hudson, a former competitive cheerleader. Long have I waited for my grandchild to come home. So now we know why Bill was seen at a competitive cheerleading competition earlier this year. Hudson was also a runner-up in the Miss Maine pageant. According to a former teammate of Hudson, she met Coach Grumpy Cat on a flight and bonded over a philosophy project she was working on. After Bill broke up with his former girlfriend, it didn't take long for him to show her his coaching tree. Hudson is an entrepreneur and philosopher, so unemployed, just like Bill. 
Here's a picture of them with a Croatian chess grandmaster. I feel like Bill's life has become must-see reality TV and we're missing out. NFL Network, you're dropping the ball here. Imagine what could be. Not to mention the merchandising. The Kelsey brothers have invested in a beer company, Garage Beer, which according to Forbes is one of the fastest growing names in craft beer. Garage Beer is Ohio made, like the Kelseys themselves. It's currently sold in a dozen states and some Costco's. The craft beer space is saturated by IPAs, but Garage Beer is refreshingly 0% IPA. They're Bavarian leaning lagers, beer flavored beer. Plus, at the bottom of every can, Taylor Swift. That's not true? Well, I already said it, so their problem now. The Kansas City Chiefs revealed their latest Super Bowl ring on X with the note, this is what greatness looks like. The ring features 529 diamonds, 38 rubies, and totals 14.8 carats. Yeah, but does it have Wi-Fi? The ring top features the Chiefs interlocking arrowhead logo meticulously crafted from 16 custom cut rubies. It says read on it to remind players to learn how. Utilizing a hidden hinge mechanism, the top of the ring opens like a toilet seat to reveal the typo inside. That's right, there's an error in this $40,000 ring. Not that you'd notice since it's on the inside, but it incorrectly lists the Dolphins as the seventh seed when they were actually the sixth. And how do they look on? Fucking ridiculous. It looks like Indiana Jones has been fighting Nazis for it. It looks like they fisted an African diamond mine. Every year, teams inch closer to what I think they really want. A belt. Thomas Lilliputin Brady was inducted into the Patriots Hall of Fame last week. Over 60,000 fans attended. Over 100 former teammates took time away from their podcast to support him. Mike Tirico was the host. So you might be wondering, of all the choices in America, why am I the one here hosting tonight? Al Michaels said no. It was kind of like a wedding. There was something old, Robert Kraft. Something borrowed, the Jets practice film. Something new, Tom's face. And something whiter than Tom Brady's pants, Bill Burr. Tom Brady reveled in the good times, like when he and Robert Kraft fought Hamas together. We did everything in Israel together. We saw football fields, we were shooting AK-47s. I am a patriot. <laughs> Good times, Tommy. It was an intimate look at Brady the man, like when Brady revealed how he talks to black people. What the fuck? The Massachusetts governor declared June 12th Tom Brady Day across the state, which means every June 12th, everyone in Massachusetts is legally required to eat avocado ice cream and deflate at least one football. Coach Bill Belichick made an appearance. A triumphant reunion turned awkward as the fans unanimously demanded more. Kiss! Kiss! Yes, yes. But Bill was all business, delivering a powerful speech about Tom Brady's tenacity and competitive nature. It was so good Josh Daniels shit himself. Matthew Slater was there to provide serious Reading Rainbow vibes. Robert Kraft took the stage to give two very big announcements. As the number 12 is now officially retired. Last year, we commissioned a local sculptor to create a larger than life bronze statue. Tom's figure will stand 12 feet tall. A 12 foot tall bronze statue? It'll look great next to the one of Robert Kraft. This is the greatest thing to happen to statues since Fonzie. Hey! Robert Kraft's speech taught me a very valuable lesson. Tommy, on behalf of the entire Patriots organization. If you hold your finger down on your phone, YouTube goes to double speed. I want to express a heartfelt thank you for your extraordinary contributions. So much better. But then, a very heartfelt moment as Brady revealed that he is tragically dying of whiskey dick. I wish I had more time to give you all. Tom's speech was inspiring and wistful, but it took a sharp turn late. But understand this, life is hard. Thomas Valentina Brady played for 23 seasons. He threw for over 89,000 yards and 649 touchdowns. He was selected to 15 Pro Bowls. He's a five-time Super Bowl MVP, won seven championships, and assassinated Osama bin Laden with his bare hands. Because like he said, I am a patriot.
Thank you so much for watching Shut Up Football. We do appreciate it. Say out of your mom for me, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. It sound right, boy. And how do they fucking look on? <laughs> yeah, my dumps were super smooth.